A victim of Canon Gordon Rydell says she wants him to be stripped of his title and of his pension after he was found guilty yesterday of more than 30 sexual offences. Annette was just six when she was abused by the retired priest in the 1960s. Her evidence helped convict him. He's now serving 10 years in prison. Our Home Affairs correspondent Colin Campbell has been talking to her about her ordeal. For somebody who was supposed to live by the laws in that Bible for nearly all his life, I think he's made a mockery of it. A smiling little girl placed into care, Canon Gordon Rideout repeatedly molested Annette when she was six. Yesterday, he was jailed for ten years, told he'll serve five. I don't think it's enough for all the misery that he's caused people throughout their lives. Rideout is known to have abused 16 children. Most were targeted at Ifield Hall Children's Home in Crawley. Annette was sent to the Dr Bernardo's home by her father, who died five years ago. He would have been devastated at what, what would have happened. Um, you never told your father? No. Because he put us in there for safety. Because my mum had run away when, we, when I was four and left five of us, so... He thought he was keeping us all safe in one place. So it, so I wouldn't have told my dad. And, and I wouldn't have come, come forward last year if he'd still been here. It was a BBC South East Today report revealing Canon Gordon Rideout's arrest last year, which prompted Annette and several others to go to the police. Now, journalism's actually been very important in this case. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I think that... Uh, at the very least, what it's done is it's sped up a process that may have taken a lot longer. Uh, and it's also uh, surfaced some issues of public interest. Now living on the Kent coast, Annette believes there were a number of missed opportunities when Canon Gordon Rideout could have been brought to justice at an earlier date. Missed opportunities which she believes have caused further pain, suffering and heartache for victims. She herself regrets not coming forward at an earlier date, but says it's because she feared she wouldn't be believed. When he is released from prison, what do you hope will happen to Canon Gordon Rideout? Well, I hope, I hope that he'll be ostracised by everybody that knew him, which I can't see that happening, because they probably still think we're all liars. I hope he loses his pension from the church. He doesn't deserve that pension. Strip him of his title if he's allowed to keep it after he's retired. And I know I don't think he should get his pension. Seeing her abuser in handcuffs on his way to prison has helped Annette reach closure, even though there are still many unanswered questions. Colin Campbell, BBC South East Today, Hern Bay.